What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you an in-depth review video of a 2024, yes, the 24 with a new facelift revised front end on the Chevy Silverado 2500 Duramax with the Allison transmission and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs about this exact truck. But before we do, because it's not a sponsored video and we truly appreciate you guys' support and if you like our content, please tap the like button, subscribe to our channel. If you have something for us to film, here's our email below and you can email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Chevrolet in the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful truck for this review. Now let's go ahead and start this review talking Chevy Silverado 2500. So let's kick this review off with talking some specs. Now we are taking a look at that Duramax 6.6 .6 liter engine. This thing is a beast and it comes in the 10 speed Allison transmission giving you 470 horsepower with a whopping crazy 975 pounds feet of torque. Everybody who'd like to know this beast, when properly equipped, can literally tow up to 22,500 pounds on the fifth wheel with no fifth wheel, 20,000 pounds. That is crazy. Anybody a little, wants to know a little bit about the MPG, combined is about 15 miles per gallon with a 28 gallon gas tank size on this diesel. Now, remember, if you do have the 6.6 .6 liter v8 gas engine option that is a uh, different mpg and will give you difference in towing capacity and all that stuff so take that into consideration now let's go ahead and talk new front end so here's the new front end okay from the headlights the grill and that kind of facelift look but look at the old one this is the old look what do you like better personally i like the newer front end i know a lot of people are scared of change but of course i like the new one rather than the old one and that's not scared of change in uh, like talk of politics but just just the car just the car okay so now get a load of how nice and rich this looks with the led kind of dual a uh, jewel eye lighting system with those hazards on and the daytime running lights and then we got the parking markers here with the chevy bow tie integrated inside the headlight that is a very cool feature and character that they have with that kind of uh metallic silver slash chrome going across this grill with that big chevy bow tie emblem dropping down with the recovery hooks and finishing off this lower kind of skid plate look in that kind of silver slash chrome look. I don't know how I feel about this kind of in between. Bumper sensors integrated into the front bumper. Now, this bumper is metal. It just comes painted with the camera and your camera washer nozzle right next to it. Big air to draw air inside the engine compartment with the hood uh, bezels stating that this is the Allison transmission with the Duramax engine. That is very cool, which brings us over to the side. High country on the backside of that fender. Let's drop down and talk the wheels and rims. So the wheel itself is a Goodyear, and that is the Goodyear Wrangler, so it's more of kind of an off-road uh, tire look. And that is the Trail Runner AT. And what are the numbers? It's a 275, 65, 20, all right? So get a load of this big uh, space in between the wheel and the uh, fender with that plastic fender uh, molding. Now, I personally probably would have liked to see that Chevrolet did uh, paint this molding itself only for the reason because it kind of gives it a richer feel on this high country. Before I continue back, I just want to show you guys right here your little glow plugs. If you live in a really cold state, this is to keep your gold plugs uh, plugged in and warm. Now, moving forward, huge towing uh, mirrors with your integrated LED lighting system, all right? It does come with blind spot assist and you have the uh, spotlight lighting systems right there. It's a dual mirror system again when you're towing with your camera integrated right here. That is so cool. Very nice, you get that bird's eye view 360 camera system, 2500 HD in that chrome trim going across. Keyless fob entry, you can lock by the push of a button chrome trim with the black and the matte black plastic. Just get a load of this. It has about a 10.1 inch ground clearance um, for that. And then also a little bit about the length, width, and height. 250 inches in length, 82 inches in width. 
sorry, 82 inches, yes, in width and 80 inches in height. With coming to the rear end, a 3.42 uh, ratio on the rear axle for the people who'd like to know for this exact truck in this video. Step pad for getting inside that truck and you know you can really use this, it's very convenient when you're coming and grabbing things out of the truck. All right, coming to the rear end, again, you got your corner steps inside that, uh, or kind of integrated in that back bumper, metal back bumper with the bumper sensors integrated and this is painted as the front. So a lot of times you'll see these chrome, the higher class or the kind of uh, upper trims on these trucks from different manufacturers will come painted. That is very nice. That's why I kind of wanted the uh, trims around the wheel wells to be painted as well. You get a multi-flex tailgate, Silverado, stamped with the high country, stamped on the right and left in the emblems. Chevy bow tie and two buttons for that multi-flex tailgate. You press one and then press the other one and you can open up those. You have camera systems and lighting. Very cool. Drop this and drop this too. Check that out drops very slow and then you press this button and then you got a step now you can pull this lever hook it up so where you kind of get help coming up into the truck all right now you got your spray on bed liner high country right here on the bed okay you got your fifth wheel set up already uh, ready to go with your hooks three on each side and in the corners you got your LED lighting and then the plugins right there okay for trailers and maybe you're tailgating things of that sort fifth wheel automatic slide window with your camera system up here and that brake light lighting integrated in that top spoiler okay so that's pretty much done for the exterior and the bed area wanted to finish off with that there goes your inverter let's go ahead and close this and shoot over and drop this Check that out, you can't even drop this. So you gotta literally drop that and then place the tailgate. Okay, rear tail lights are in the LED systems with the Chevrolet emblem integrated right there, giving it more of a kind of, literally kind of sporty classier feel in that, kind of rich feel on that. So let's go ahead and jump interior and talk that. Now coming inside the 2024 Chevy Silverado Duramax, and let's go ahead and start this and get a load of what that infotainment screen looks like with that Chevy emblem in the background starting, full digital dash. Let's go ahead and start this truck for the second time of this video. Now, bringing this real rich feel with that 13 inch infotainment screen and that full digital cluster, let's go ahead and turn off the AC inside this because it is starting to get chilly. But let's go ahead and bring to you the door panel, okay? Let's start with the door panel. You have your memory seating up to two memory settings, unlock, lock, control unit for your windows. You can uh, automatic fold those side mirrors and you can extend those, check that out. Very cool when you're towing a fifth wheel and you don't have to pull them manually, okay? And you could also automatically fold them. Just a whole lot of bell and whistle inside this high country. On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, you have the four wheel drive system along with your lighting system for your bed lighting, also your fog lights, your trailer brake lighting, all that good stuff, your parking brake. Then your heads up display controls right over that, which leads us to a nice, uh, rich heads up display inside the 2024 Chevy Silverado High Country. Okay, you're gonna see that uh, across all high countries like the Suburban. Controls, this is how you're shifting between drive, reverse, neutral, and all that stuff. And then on the left hand side, you have your windshield wiper controls. The kind of high country bronze that we see uh, going across the high country trims with that metallic silver, I like that color. And then you got that leather wrapped steering wheel that you can control also from uh, the steering wheel, you can control that driver, pick, uh, driver cockpit cluster. Let's go ahead and show you guys the infotainment card controls. Now I got, cool. Now, let me show you guys real quick the infotainment screen and how it looks. Let's go ahead, open maps. Google, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Okay, this is what it looks like. Just wanted to show you guys a full screen of navigation, the Google Maps. All right. All right, let's go back home. Now, touch sensitive is pretty responsive. Pretty responsive. Let's go home. And then you get that split screen with your audio, 
you can go ahead and swipe to the right and left, check out your climate. You can control this by the touch sensitive screen and also your manual buttons down here. Climate is off. All right, let's go back home. Here's your media. And then you get your media here and then the navigation comes into the split screen. So pretty cool. Now head over to Roseville Chevrolet and they got guys that'll spend time with you. On these manual buttons down, you have a hill decline assist button, traction control, tailgate, drop button, parking sensors, lane assist, and the exhaust brake. If you want to use uh, when you're towing or going down hills, that is very useful. Home button for that screen and your on and off button for the media. Right under your trailer brake system here, ventilated heated seats, both front seats, and your controls for your dual climate control with USB-C and USB-A plugins. You got a pad here just for personal belongings, cup holders, wireless charging pad, another inverter. So one inverter and then one in the back, removable tray, and then USB-C and USB-A plug-in there also. So you're not fighting for plug-ins with people. I want to show you guys also the camera system, all right? The 360, you get different views of the front, the back, your sides, and then you, look at that. Very cool, honestly. That's just a lot of option inside this truck, right? Now, High Country has that perforated with the stitched design difference inserts on that center of the seat with the sides. Very rich feel inside the High Country. I'm a big fan of Chevy High Country. If you ask me to go down into the lower trims, just a regular LT, not such a big fan. I, if I had the pocketbook, I would be buying the High Country. The natural grain wood inserts on the inlays, straight, simple, to the point, comes with the plug-in for those uh, glow plug heaters, right? And now the door sill plate also comes with High Country. That's something that you will see that is different. Premium sound system, Bose. So you're getting premium sound inside the truck itself. And up top, to finish off this front side, you have the tilt and slide sunroof option with the controls up here in the center okay pretty much that's it for the front let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating now the bench seat in the back okay let's talk the seat the seat is a 60 percenter and a 40 percenter what do i mean by that you lift it and that's 60 percent 40 percent if you were to lift that that opens us up to the little cubby room down here okay and that's pretty much it you have that space you literally can put a some blankets down here and sleep if you're going camping a lot of room Further talk about the seats, you got the armrest, the cup holders. And one thing that I'm a big fan of these uh, GM trucks that we're seeing is these um, back compartments for personal belongings that you get in these. Uh, if you go Chevy or GMC, you get that option in their trucks, okay? Now in front of the bench seat, you have pockets on the back side of those front seats. You have heated seating on the bench seat in the back. USB-C and USB-A plug-in, okay? Let's do a space test. Literally, there's no reason to because you're completely clear on head clearance and leg. I'm about six feet, two inches, so I'm a pretty tall fella, and that is completely clear. You have lighting up here in that LED lighting, the true light lighting. Fan of that because they didn't put that soft yellow, dark, or you can't even see yourself in that lighting. But door panels pretty much look the same coming in from the front to the back, okay? Now we're pretty much done with this review, everybody. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks for watching our channel here at Vagabond Build. Stay tuned. We have more cool things coming.